We've made it the third and final Mazahod, if I've said it right, a robot from the ABC Warrior lineup. We're kicking things off with the Grave Lord Grey. Now, once again, this is based on a movie slash comic slash cartoon robot that I really like the paint scheme of. It's actually from something slightly newer. Uh, newer than Baymax and newer than the Sentinels from X-Men. So the question is, can you guess before I reveal what robot I've based it off? Now, this one only really has two colors. It's yellow, gray, and has red eyes. That is the big hint. So it's going to be a pretty straightforward paint job. I'm not going to lie to you. But I am looking and holding the final finished model in my hand. And I have to say, out of the three, this is my favorite. I I went an extra step, and I think that's going to show through that I really enjoyed painting this model. Uh, and I hope that you'll enjoy watching me paint this final one up as well. After this, we are going to move on to probably Mechquake. He is the biggest one in the ABC Warriors at the moment. And getting him painted will be a real achievement. And probably after him, I'm going to look at Joe Pineapples, but I want to get some Judge Dredd figures painted up because there's another wave incoming at some point, hopefully soon. So i got to get moving with my painting. So here you go. The Grave Lord Grey is now all in the sections that I feel need it. I've done his gun, got his ankles, the back of his legs, waist, armpits, all those sort of areas are now complete. I grab the Slaughter Red. This is a very small color on this model uh, it's ultimately three i think three stars and his eyeball so this is a very quick step the eyeball i just love the head on this model I'm gonna be honest i could happily get this box set twice more and make this model three more times exactly the same way <laughs> obviously reposing the arms and put the head pointing in different directions or whatever to make unique poses but I think a little unit of three of these could look pretty damn sweet maybe that's what I'll do or maybe if Warlord Games are watching and they really 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 like me they might just want to send me some kits to build and paint <laughs> look at me begging for miniatures anyway let's get on with it I'm just carefully Picking these out with Slaughter Red. Taking my time. There's not much that can go wrong here. I'm only hitting the top of the areas of the stars. I'm not doing the sides because any washes I put down are going to flood into those areas. And I'm just going to let that dry. Right. We come back. It's slightly lighter here, as you can now see by the background. I grab the Zealot Yellow. And anything that is currently white is going to become yellow. Nice and simple. This model is probably 80% yellow, and I love it. Now, I'm going to reveal what robot I'm doing. It is, of course, the Cyclops from Buzz Lightyear. I know the model doesn't look anything like it, but I just love yellow and black. I think it's a killer combo, so I had to paint one of the robots like it. I'm actually very tempted to do a white robot at some point. The last time I did it was the Medic Droid in 2000 AD. But there's something about... The, if like Just looking at this model without yellow on it, he looks like an Arctic warrior. Um, I don't know if Mars had any snow ice fighting. be surprised if it did, as it is a red planet. But there's just something about that color scheme. I'm definitely going to have to revisit it and do a white armor scheme. But at the same time, I do have all my Star Wars to paint, so I'm going to have a lot of white painting with the Stormtroopers. So maybe I'll just save it for that project. So I'm just carefully going to work my way around the armor. I'm kind of sad that I finished this free pack. We had some fun with it. We had the Baymax, we had the Sentinel, and now the Zyklops. And I, looking at all three models, I've got to say that this one is my favorite of the three. I really enjoyed painting this, and as I was putting the paint down, especially this yellow stage, I knew I'd made the right choice. 
Hopefully you'll agree by the end of the video. And if you do, make sure to hit like, subscribe and all that crap that I have to say in every video. But uh, yeah, every like, comment, hello helps. If you want to do something an extra cheeky bit, uh, drop me a banana in the comments. Let me know which robot was your favorite. Was it the Sentinel? I kind of like that purple and blue skin that that had. Uh, we had Baymax, which was purple and red. And then we have the Cyclops, which is yellow. So I've hit up quite a few colors across this project. Um, they're going to look weird all together as unit three. So I definitely think I need some more of these kits. And next time I do a Warlord Games order, definitely going to add maybe a box or two of these on. I think if I could make a free strong unit of each type of model, that would look pretty cool. Uh... And then they'd look uniformed as well. I know they're not meant to be proper squads anymore because they've been reconditioned to help the populace of Mars. But I do like the idea of squads and a squad of three that look the same and have a similar paint job. It's going to look so much better for me. But anyway, enough of me yapping. Uh, you get the idea. I'm going to cover this in yellow. So we'll come back once it's all done and dried. Right, we are back. The yellow is now starting to dry. I'm very happy with how it's looking. The breastplate came out a bit more orange than I was expecting. I probably put a bit too much paint there. But it's okay, because I'm going to use Agrax of um, Reichlin Flesh. Uh, oh, I can't talk. I'm going to use the Reichlin Flesh shade now to darken down the armor. Uh, the chest plate, I'm going to actually follow the bolts and put some streaks on it make it look a bit beaten this is the only area i'm going to do it in and i'm just applying a heavier wash on this area it's going to help break down that over blotchiness of the orange and then the rest of the model i'm just going to absolutely cover it in this stuff make it look a bit grimy well worked in and with that done the model's pretty much there i just got to do the base and take the glamour photos and that's it for this little series of free robots. I am going to mash them all together in a bigger video at some point. That's not going to happen today though. But I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next video soon. As always, I do appreciate you stopping by and watching. And I'll catch you again soon with the next paint video. As always, cheers for watching.